Alright, so this is how you flash NoCache. NoCache has an amazing feature. I'm going to show you how to imply it later. It's pretty cool. This is actually a 128 bit standard shell, even though it says it's a Game Shark. I swapped it around. Here's your Deuteronomy point. Okay. Start the system up. To get our home boot to boot, I'm using Tony Hex slot to free PS boot. Keep the lid open. Hit memory card to activate. Exploit. Wait for it to say swap CD. Close your lid. Read the CD. Okay, now we are into you know I'm gonna access our cheat card install utilities. Hit X go to the install. Now we're actually going to restore. Even though we're not doing a restore. And we are gonna go to the archive ROMs that they're so lovely to include. And there are a lot on here. Um, I kind of like this one if you just want a regular Game Shark. Um, I've tried quite a few of these. There's even a virtual memory card at the bottom. So what no cash I think started from was because they were trying to recreate a VCD BIOS, but it ended up being way more than that. There's even an, uh, an NX flash. Not sure exactly why they did that, probably to do like a mass flashing. So this is the updated one, 2.1. You're going to select that. And what no cash is, is uh, it's basically what uh, Uniram uses to exploit one of the tools that's in that utility. Um, go to auto detect. It is going to sense your cheat cart, whatever ROM is inside of it. Hit X, it's going to flash it. Okay, so no cash is flashed onto cheat cart now. Now the switch was down, so it's booting to the normal BIOS. We're going to take the CD out, because you're going to get this message if you don't. Now I could have did something to stop that. And what that is, is the switch. And this is so cool. The switch is down, no cache BIOS extension doesn't start. So it basically, you can leave this cheat card in, and the exploit doesn't take effect. So you can just use your PlayStation like normal and leave that in. Right, so now we flip the switch up and no cache starts. Right? So let's test no cache out. I got a ROM hack here. Symphony of the Night quality update, right? Let's turn the PlayStation on. See if no cache is working. I know that looks like it's a uh, pound. It's not. This is actually an RGB cable. It's a level like I did some comparison of uh, screenshots and stuff, and uh, I was kind of embarrassed because it looks a lot like my other model, which costs like three hundred dollars. <laughs> You get some audio uh, distortion when the game starts, that's normal. Okay, so no cache BIOS extension exploit work. Game started. Um, let's make sure the quality hack took effect. There it is, quality hack version 1.3.
simply the night. So now I'm going to show you the coolest thing about that switch. Um, no cache is working. Let's take the CD out. Just let us another drug in. This is another <laughs> ROM hack. It gives you inventory. It fixes a bug when you go diagonal that causes you to get uh, more encounters. I'm going to start this game up with that in there and no cash running. Let's see what happens. Alright. And it automatically starts if you just leave the CD in there. You can hit select and get into the BIOS expansion, which there's some cool features in there. It has an amazing memory card manager. It's actually my favorite. And it sends the game. I see. Okay, so we got a problem here. Check it out. The software terminated your console may have been modified, so there's an exploit problem. Uh, the no cache exploit is not, you know, penetrating through this. So, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to flip the switch on here. Disable no cache. What that's going to do, it's going to allow me to use Tony Hex. Pop my button open. I should have just reset the console, but whatever. Now we got our normal BIOS starting because I hit the switch down. So effectively, what I have here is three BIOSes stock BIOS, no cache, and Tony Hack slot two. because of that switch. Now, if I, you can do the same thing with Unirom, I know, just by using the menu. But I just really like the physical switch. You have to get up to open the door on your PlayStation. So, you know, it's kind of... I just really wish they would add that switch support to Tony X because... and Unirom, because then it would give you the option to have three BIOSes like this with both of them. You know, it just gives you more options with the homebrew scene. I mean, we were already so spoiled. I mean, that's asking, you know, it's 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 kind of crazy. But you know, this is my favorite console, so I'm really into the developing. And there we go. The Legend of Dragoon has booted. Unirom is the same way. It cannot boot Legend of the Dragon. Uh, Tony Hex can. There's a few other games, some Japanese games, the same way. You know where no cash, can't boot it. Unirom can't boot it, but Tony Hex can. Um, there's probably some games that it's the opposite. I haven't found them yet. Let's start this up. Let's see if the uh, ROM hack actually works. Sorry, my uh, analog button got pressed. List. And 64. So the ROM hack is working. You normally only get 32, which is not enough in this game. You fill up your inventory almost instantly. This ROM hack is amazing. Um, gives you extra XP. Yes, I'm a cheater. I don't care. More inventory. And it fixes that bug where when you go diagonal in only one direction, you get more encounters which is crazy i mean why would they do that you know anyway i just think that's amazing that you can have three bioses you know on this console no cash tony hex free prius boot and your stock bios all at the same time <laughs>